everybody. Hopefully you can see me. Feels like you're kind of low. Hold on. Let me look in the mirror. Oh, yes, you're good. <laughs> okay, so my video today is about something sweet that I do for my boyfriend, and I thought I would share with you ladies in case you want to do something creative and sweet for your boyfriend, and you've been kind of hacking your mind like, oh, what can I do? Um, it is March Madness. Any of you ladies with boyfriends who like to play basketball, you know it's March Madness. So I typically like to do this gift basket every year for my boyfriend during March Madness. He takes off one day out of the month and I will have a basket put together for him and I'll have it um, downstairs in our kitchen so when he wakes up and he comes downstairs he will have this special basketball themed um, basket. So the first year I did it, I got a basket and I filled it with like chips and salsa. I also bought him a shirt from his favorite team. Um, and I also bought, I bought nuts, well pistachios because um, he likes pistachios and I think that's it so I just put like a bunch of different things in there and the card I made the card I grabbed a newspaper that his team had um, they had a lot of stuff in the newspaper about them and it was actually in color which was cool so I cut out like his favorite player um, out of the newspaper and I put that in the card and I cut out some of the stats and I put that in the card as well and then I just wrote a note something like sorry your team's not playing in the finals <laughs> maybe next year because um, they didn't make it uh, so I just put like a little note in there and enjoy your day off so I did it again last year which I was like woohoo because <laughs> I you know you want to start these traditions and it never seems to go right so I'm like yes I'm actually in my third year of doing a little pr tradition um, so this past year I did, not this year, the past year, <laughs> I did a basket and again I had like chips and stuff like that and then I went to Green Turtle and got him a gift card and I put like the menu in there with a gift card um, and I got him a basketball as well, he needed a new basketball so I put that in there like a new basketball pump that would be a good idea if they need that um he need a new basketball pump but someone got him one for christmas um so i i got him a basketball and then i also did this picture box i'm a little hesitant to tell you all the details of this little picture box but it was basketball themed i found like all these scrapbook not scrapbooks um scrapping what would it be called? Like scrap, I guess, <laughs> scrapbook pieces that are basketball themed. And so I put them in there and like, I think it's a basketball and then it had like a hoop and a shirt and just little different pieces. And then um, I put a picture of myself in there and I got creative with the picture. I actually put on like some little short workout shorts and I got two basketballs, we have two basketballs here, and I've kind of held them up, you know, covering the ladies, <laughs> so you could see my stomach, and I had on short shorts, so it was a fun little photo that I put in there, um, and so this year I am going to get him a tie from the basketball team that he likes, because we went to a game, and he had pointed it out when we were going through the gift shop that he really liked, really liked it. So I'm going to get him a tie and I'm going to get him some chips from probably Trader Joe's um, and then I am also, what I'd like to do is order him a pizza from Papa John's or Domino's. You can order online and you can pay online and you can even do the tip online. So. I'd like to, it's tough because I don't know like really be home and all this stuff so I would like to ideally surprise him because he's always so sweet and lets me get whatever I want on my pizza even though he would like to put the works on it. 
um, where I would not. <laughs> I don't want all that crazy stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to order him a pizza and just have it delivered. You know, he won't be expecting it. And, I, and then I'm going to try to do a picture again this year, I think. I have it in my mind. I don't know how well it's going to work out. But I thought maybe putting on, like, some black high heel shoes and attempting to maybe balance a basketball on the shoe. I guess I could use, like something to stick it if it's going to fall off. I don't know, I just take a picture of like my leg with a high heel shoe and the basketball. I think that'd be a cool picture. In my head it looks cool. I don't know how it's really going to look. I can see me now trying to like juggle a basketball and take a picture and oh, it's going to be a wreck. Um, <laughs> so there's different things you can do, but it's like a fun little tradition that I do for March Madness. I put together a little goodie basket and it's just a homemade card, and you could put chips or nuts, salsa. Um, you could get them a shirt from their favorite team or a tie or socks or a new basketball. Um, just kind of keep it basketball-related. So that's my little fun thing I do for this crazy March Madness. Um, luckily, there's more than one TV in the house because I'd be dying if there wasn't. Um, so hope everybody's having a great day. See you later.